Is there anybody out there that you would like to collaborate with? We have one song that we haven't released yet that I want to get Post Malone on. Mashup. Post Malone. Post Balls Malone. in your court. Where, Follow yeah. us, please. <laughs> Jane Malone. Malone. Jane Malone, dude. Jane Malone. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Pop Dust Presents. Today, our very special guest, Stereo Jane. Hello. Hi. What's up? We got Mia and Sydney of Stereo Jane. Mia, Sydney. Hi. Yeah. So you know. When I first saw uh, the name of your band and started listening on Spotify, I assumed that at least one of you is going to be named Jane. Nope. Turned out to be false. <laughs> so no. you got some explaining to do. Our original band name was C. Jane Rock, and it was based off of the children's books that we were reading at the time, Dick and Jane. Um, and in the books, it's see Jane run, see Jane walk, see okay. Jane do this. And so we decided to name our band at age nine, something like that. Yeah. See Jane rock. And then around age 14, we were like, maybe we kind of outgrew that name since it's from a children's right. book. So and we were like, let's. It became a long story to tell. Like it oh, is it right was now. just, it was also a very long story. So um, that's yes. like the cutest story I've ever heard it's, it's pretty, for a band it's name. Cute. Yeah, for like a rock <laughs> name. For like a little <laughs> kid band from Detroit. And, and did you, did you automatically, did you know that you wanted to do, to do drums. I'm. Did, That's okay. I did you, did, yes, I. Well, I think my dad was. He was in a band growing up, and so I wanted to pick like the biggest instrument possible. And not thinking about like lugging that thing around Los Angeles is not fun. Yeah, that becomes an issue. Yeah. Since since we were little, it's just we've been surrounded by music. Mm -hmm. So a big thing for us was just music that was it that was really all we grew up listening to and doing and being around so it was kind of natural for us to just want to be in a band we were like wait our dad's so cool like we want to be like him and we wanted to start our own band and so we did and we were around seven or eight and started playing in bars um around 10. Wow. uh we would warm up for his band that's awesome yeah, yeah. they kick us out right away but like right after we stopped playing they'd kick us out but yeah. And then what has been the, the journey? Because now you've got the, the new single out, Strangers, um, and, you know, a ton of plays and, and the streams are just like piling up, you got featured in Billboard and whatnot. Like what has happened in that, like what, like 10 year gap from playing playing in bars as, as children oh, wow. uh, to uh, now you're L.A. based, not in Detroit anymore, yeah. and uh, about to like take over. How'd that happen? No, we, no, we signed to a record label when we were in high school. Um, we signed to Atlantic Records and we were with them for four years. And we ended up finishing out high school doing online school um, while we were still working with the label. And then right after graduation, we moved out to L.A. Um, we were with them for a little bit longer and then it just kind of fizzled out. It didn't really work the way we wanted it to. And just so we just decided to go independent. Yeah, we went independent and our management's been helping us and it's just been amazing so we, we've great. been able to release music and it's we've just been we were learning a lot throughout those four years at the record label mm -hmm. um and we wrote so many songs and now we're finally getting to yeah. release a lot of them did you have original songs when you got signed or were you doing yes. like okay mm -hmm. and yeah. did any of them can we hear any remnants of that oh in God. in the current uh discography your soulful voice yeah definitely i mean, I mean we have, we've been through so many phases as a band we've been doing it for so long we've been through a motown phase a rock phase a pop phase and i think all of them have kind of blended into this thing that we are today this, yeah um so yeah you can definitely find little hints of everything that we've done in the past the little drum fill at the beginning of i think it's holy hell is that you yeah that like <laughs> like, yep. yeah. it kinda like <laughs> that one's it's so fun to play live it, it's cool because it catches you off guard like you think it's going to be like a little bit more tame of an intro and you're like mm -hmm. no yeah I, I was thinking that maybe it was like a sample or something that you guys like sped up but that's that's you no, a lot All of right. our stuff was um samples and then i went in and played drums on top of it to give it that organic feel i think that's cool when you can take or even if like you record yourself and then like just put it put it through like a processor and make yeah. it sound like a sample but yeah. it has like you know what i mean like if you sample yourself it's you can just, get this really cool and yeah it feels real because i think for a drummer especially living in a pop world right now it's so hard because a lot of it's like it does it, you can't play it live it doesn't cross over yeah so you're like oh that sounds really cool but i cannot play that live mm -hmm. so everything we do is meant to be able to to play live because it's our favorite thing. Well, like the Octopad thing that you had playing earlier, do you have that on you like next to like your kit? I don't. Live? I go like full. I hate having really? like anything electric on stage with me. I've been wanting wow. it to do it though. I know. I think I, it's. I think, I think it's a cool thing to add just for, for fun. For sure. Yeah. I think I've just been so like 
into like straight. I want like a rocket and that'll speak for me. <laughs> That's cool. What's up for spring? What is spring for Stereo Jane? Spring is more music. Yeah, more music. Um, we're going to be, be an playing album? a lot more shows. Yeah, we're, we're eventually going to release the album. Not sure the exact date. Not sure like yeah. when it's going to happen, but we're definitely working on it. And we're playing South by Southwest. Oh, yeah. Which is I'm, gonna, I'm so exciting. excited for that. I never travel and I'm just like more places to go. I'm so excited. I just want to go to Austin. That's yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. I guess like New York. I'm, I imagine this is it's not my your first fir- time. What? Yeah. I, and this is my first time actually in New York. What have um, you seen? Literally nowhere. So where our hotel is in the middle of Times Square. <laughs> but I keep telling Sydney, I'm like, no, that's not like the New York that like. No, I I know like. that. I know. Yeah, yeah. The first time I was ever in New York it was like it was like the Midtown and like let's go see like Rockefeller Plaza and whatnot, which is like two blocks away from the office. Uh, and I guess I guess I thought that's what New York was, and I was like, "Wow, that's cool! It's really big." Um, but then, yeah, when you actually like, go down to the village and everything else, that's when I was like, "I must live here." Mm-hmm. That's I, when you find your spot, especially like moving to LA. There's people are like, "Oh, let's go to Hollywood." I'm like, "No, you can go. I'm not gonna go." On uh, every the time walk a friend visit visits us, they're like, "Let's go to Hollywood." And I'm like, "Oh, you want to go to Hollywood? What do you think Hollywood is like?" And they're like, "I don't know, glamorous." And I'm like. Oh, let's Ooh. go. Let's go right now. And so we take them. And one time our friend yeah. saw like a homeless dude shitting on the street. And it was like, yes, yeah. this is Hollywood. And she's like, we can go now. We can go back now. No, but it's, it's fine. Like every area, <laughs> you have to find your place. Absolutely. For me, I don't know. I'd rather go go to a beach in Malibu or something if I were, if I were visiting L.A. See, I love L.A. That. You say yeah. that. But then you move there and you're like, and you, you never, never go, go to the beach. beach. Of when course I, not. I was dreaming of moving to LA, and I was like, I'm gonna go to the beach every day. I'm gonna learn how to surf. Well, you've got nope. the you've got the the line about like being stalled on the on the 405, right? Yeah, it yes. happened to us. It actually happened, yeah. And that's and that was like the day after it happened. We we had that session and we wrote that song. That's how that's how I knew because I was listening to the song and I hadn't read anything yet, and I was like, oh, they're based in LA. <laughs> are you are you guys like part of like the the NoHo studio scene, like? Um, well, like, a lot we, of, like a lot of recording studios there. There's like oh, a whole like strip of them. We have a space there um, oh, in cool. North Hollywood. Yeah, we've had studios everywhere, like all around. Kind of just depends on who we're working with and where we're going. But mm-hmm. are you still opening up for your dad's band? No, no, no. they ended that a little while ago. Um, I think what were we like twelve. 13 yeah he stopped he kind of let us take over and he's like it's their turn demand a reunion tour i yeah he can yeah he'll stereo dad stereo dad his his stereo dad called um nailing betty mailing betty nailing betty nailing betty band name imagine telling your teachers that when you're like nine ten years old and then and then being like oh they look at you very different yeah after that (laughs) definitely i love that (laughs) i think i think it's great i think it sets you up for the yeah for the, uh, the trials and for the hard rock and roll life. Oh, for yeah. sure. Um, anything else that you want to share with fans or people that don't know who you are? If you don't know us, we're just two twins who play in a band. And um, I would also want to say that we have um, a single out, Strangers, yes. which we just released, and the music video is out. Um, and it's, it's a song it. we really believe in. We're super proud of it. And like, we've been waiting to release it for so long and yeah. it's finally out. So we're super excited about that. You know, a lot of, a lot of big time musicians and celebrities watch our show. Is there anybody out there that you would like to collaborate with? We have one song that we haven't released yet that I want to get Post Malone on. Mashup. Post Malone. Post Balls Malone. in your court. Where Follow you us, please. <laughs> we're big fans of his that popped us and it's mutual. So I want to collab. All right, honestly, we could probably make it happen. We're going to get Stereo Dad trending. Stereo Dad. Stereo Hashtag Dad. Stereo Dad and uh, Post Malone. Or po- just Stereo Dad Jane, and Jane Malone. Jane Malone. Jane Malone, dude. Jane Malone. Hey, pop heads out there, get that tag trending. <laughs> I don't know how to speak internet. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much for being here and yeah, hanging out you. with us. Yeah. Um, Thanks for having us. Yeah, and hopefully I'll get to catch you at your show last week. Last week. Last week, yeah. yeah. It was amazing. It was so good. It was so, so good. good. So and I couldn't good. believe, and at the end, when Post Malone came Post out. Post Malone? Oh my God, I, yes. believe I did not expect that at all. <laughs> right? Friends in high places. Yeah. That's right. Thank you guys from everybody at Poptus. Uh, yeah, we're glad that you could be here.